David Slinger and the question today is can a new me pendant actually make you stronger? Now I know there are many skeptics watching this now that are not easily going to be convinced but the object of this video is not to prove anything to anybody rather to show you a very simple technique that you can use to test this for yourself. Now we've got Mohi with us today. Mohi and I have met today for the first time. This is going to be a 100% um, genuine test. Again, it's not uh, for us to convince you of anything, but it's to show you how to do this test at home. It's going to be a simple before and after strength test using the new me. So this is Mohi. Mohi has very kindly volunteered to come along and help us with this test today, being our test subject. Nice to meet you, Mohi. Okay, uh, you see he's a strong guy, but what we're going to do is to get an idea of exactly how strong he is and then we're going to see whether we can actually make him stronger by giving him, giving him a new me pendant. So it's a very simple test, Mohi. All it involves for you to do is to, is to turn around with your back to me and put your arms straight and cradle your fingers by linking them together. Okay, so, and, and if you point your feet parallel, roughly level with your, with your shoulders, and all I'm going to do is to push down with my fist directly towards the floor on Mohi's hands and see if I can unbalance him. Now the idea is not for me to get Mohi on, on the floor, but the idea is for Mohi to get a good feel of how strong he is and how balanced he is right now. So here we go. Okay. Okay, so that's the first part of the test. See, very, very simple test. Now we're going to go for part two. We're going to give Mohi a new me pendant and repeat this. Okay, so in the second part of the test, what we're going to do is we're going to give Mohi one of our, our new me pendants. This is the new me knot. It's one of our, the, our, our new range of new me skinnies. Uh, we're going to put it around his neck and then we're going to allow it to sit there for, I don't know, 15-20 seconds. Give it some time to do its magic, balance out uh, Mohi's energies. And then we're going to repeat the test exactly as before. So make the cradle feet parallel. Again, the object of this test is, is not to, to see whether we can pull Mohi over or not. It's really for Mohi to get a feel for how, cent how centred, how balanced, how strong he is on the second part of the test. So, here we go again. I'm going to start pushing down towards the floor. You see, this is about what I was doing before. No movement. Solid as a rock. So this time I can going to increase the pressure. I'm going to take my weight off one of my leg and I'm going to lean forward. So, so now he's got the whole of my weight just about push, trying to push him over. He's solid as the rock of Gibraltar. So what, how was that, Mohi? That was, that, was, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So why does this work? Is the new me actually making us stronger? Well, the simple answer to this is no. What it is doing is actually protecting us from what is, makes us weaker. Now, what is making us weaker is, is generating a, an everyday weakened state, which we are now taking as normal. So this begs the question, what is it that's actually making us weaker? Well, this is a whole other subject uh, to do with the electrical radiation coming from cell phones, computers, power lines, in fact all our electrical devices and the, and the transmission towers outside. And it is known as electromagnetic fields or EMF for short. It can't be seen. Most doctors will deny any negative health effects from it. Same with the governments. In fact it's not a very sexy subject at all. Um, but we do have plenty of information on our website if you want to get yourself educated on, on this subject. Um, but if, if you're one of these people that don't find it very interesting, but do find the idea of making yourself a bit stronger, you now know what you can do.